Mommy's done me. Time to get up. Who's done me? Wakey, wakey. I like to play or be treated as a baby. Hi, puppy. Um, just to get the love and affection, safeness. Basically, just go back to a time where you're caring for a one or two year old, and uh, that's what it is for me. Okay. 29 year old Stanley Thornton spends around half his life pretending to be an infant. He calls himself an adult baby. With being an adult baby, I've had a couple different reactions some good, some not so good. Um, I've had some people that are perfectly fine with it, and I've had others that are just angry, like they think that it's an automatic, that you're a pedophile because you're into it. Angela, I need to cut your hair to get too long, you start to look like a little girl. Stanley shares a house with former nurse Sandra Diaz. She's not Stanley's mom, but is happy to play that role. I love him like he's my favorite nephew. He's like my family member who lost his mother, and it's like, I'm the aunt stepping in saying, it's okay, I'm still here for you. To step into Stanley and Sandra's modest home is to enter a fantasy world. Where a grown man plays with Legos, sucks on a pacifier, is spoon-fed, uses baby talk, and even wears a diaper. It's a life of make-believe that many would consider taboo. If I do, he is sure to cry. I think our cultural norms tell us that we're supposed to, to be babies, and then we grow up, and we go through teenage, and then we become adults, you know? And if somebody is trying to, to jump back, then that feels uncomfortable, and people feel threatened by something that's out of the ordinary. To avoid public shaming, Stanley switches to adult mode when he leaves the house. This afternoon, he's at a hardware store, buying wood for an upcoming DIY project, a super-sized high chair. The high chair started two years ago as a small project. I've been working on the plants for about a year and a half. So I wanted to create something that was modular and could hold my weight, because I'm not exactly a, a little guy. Stanley's already customized other baby furniture to make his fantasy life feel more real. This is my nursery and this is my crib. Uh, it took me about a day to, to build it and another day to paint it. This, uh, this particular side goes up and down, the other one's stationary. I like it, it's very comfortable. It's easy to get into the, the baby feel while you're in it. I mean, there's nothing else like it waking up in a, in a crib as opposed to a bed. And sleeping in the crib, you wake up as a child and you can continue on from there. And it's easy to stay in the same, the same mindset. Well, I got my hands on a, a baby-sized play yard that I converted for adult weight. Uh, didn't take much more than putting an a inch-thick board in the bottom, and it goes from supporting 60 pounds to about 350 pounds. Stanley knows many people might regard his lifestyle as bordering on insanity. There was a time he would have agreed with them. I started getting into it when I was about 14. <laughs> the first thought is you start thinking you're crazy, you know, because this, this isn't normal. At least that's what you think. And you're thinking you're the only one that's doing it. And then you, you get down the road and you start getting on a computer and you're like, wow, there's all these other people that are doing it. And then you, you find the name for it. The name for Stanley's lifestyle is infantilism. For some participants, it's a kind of fetish. But Stanley's motivation to be a baby is not sexual. For some people, being an adult baby is a, a, a sexual fetish for them. However, for most of us, it's just, um, you know, you're doing it to relax. You come home from work and, you know, you change into baby mode and, you know, you put away all your adult stuff, everything gets on hold. <laughs> 